At memorials and cenotaphs across the country tomorrow, our war veterans will be honoured. But here in Ottawa, for a few minutes, the National Remembrance Day ceremony will focus on the loss of one specific soldier in a symbolic tribute. Here's CTV's Mercedes Stevenson with this year's Silver Cross Mother. A place of solace for Colleen and Jim Fitzpatrick, a park named in their fallen son's honour. Didn't ever expect to see this here. It's a very special place, the Darren Fitzpatrick Bravery Park. It's in the neighbourhood where he grew up and he played Little League, attended daycare. We spend time and reflect. Time remembering a soldier gone too soon. His mom, proud yet pained, six years after his death. The cemetery is uh, a place of finality and it's, it, I don't feel his presence there like I do where Darren would be having fun and enjoyment at the park. Darren deployed to Afghanistan in 2009. He was critically injured in an IED explosion on a routine foot patrol near Kandahar. We were in Mexico on our 25th wedding anniversary at the time, so the notification came home to Sean, our youngest son. The message that we received was that he was critical, he was still alive, so there's always hope. Um, so at that point, it was hour by hour. He's alive, uh, we just need to get to him. After massive blood transfusions and with boundless courage, Darren was airlifted to a hospital in Germany. He had lost uh, his total blood volume out in the field, so they, we were told that it was a medical miracle that he survived uh, the blast. His family spent two precious weeks at his side. We just reiterated how much we loved him, so they can't be replaced. And he wanted to come home to Canada. He did, that was his one request. Darren got his final wish, but passed away the following day. He wasn't conscious um, when he was in Alberta, but um, I'm sure he felt our presence and he knew we were all there. There was a regimental funeral in Edmonton, an emotional tribute on the Highway of Heroes, and last year, the launch of a legacy project, a blood donation campaign. It has definitely become a passion for the family. Um, it was our opportunity to pay it forward. For us, it prolonged a life for Darren that we had those two special weeks with him. Tomorrow at the National War Memorial, Colleen Fitzpatrick will stand for all mothers who have lost a loved one to war. It takes a very special individual to put on the uniform and step forward to serve. And for all of our sons and daughters, that's what I'll be thinking of, our freedoms, because they served. Mercedes Stevenson, CTV News, Ottawa.